Hi, Q. Okay, we're ready to go. Coach Q, you could start with an opening statement. Well, guys, we were all for a month, so I'm out of here. See you. <laughs> I wish we could go straight to February, right? Um, I think the rest did us did us some good. Um, just just really happy with our with our team's effort. Really happy with um, just the way we played. I, I thought we played our pace. Our defense was solid. We, we did a really good job of of getting the ball into the paint, and we, we didn't get the ball into the paint cleanly. We got great looks on on the perimeter with our shooters. So just. I don't know. I'm just really happy with our performance. Thanks, Q. Congrats on the win. First, we'll go to Tommy Sladek from CNY Central. Hey, Q. Coach Q, thank you uh, for the time and congratulations on the win for a team like yours that has gone. Pause one sec. Okay. Here we go. Go ahead, Tommy. You're going almost four weeks since last hitting the hardwood. A lot of the teams around the NCAA have, have struggled coming back from the COVID pause. You guys did the exact opposite. Uh, what went right in these last few weeks to uh, equate for what we saw on the court today? Let's see if we're trying to get it. We got a bad connection. Hold on. Okay. Can you repeat the question? Sure. Uh, We've seen teams around the NCAA that have struggled coming back from COVID pauses and, and really getting back into their routine, but you guys did the exact opposite today. What went right over these last few weeks in preparing uh, and coming on performing like you did today? Well, we were able to get some rest. Obviously, I thought that was that was that was huge for us. And we got up a lot of shots. We, we, we just got in the gym and, and got back to some basic stuff, getting up shots and and running our offense, trying to trying to run our offense all the way through, share the ball, move the ball, play inside out. And I thought that was the key to us um, scoring a lot of points today. Thanks, Coach. Next, we'll go to Patrick Gunn from 247 Sports. <clears throat> hey, Coach. Great win. Really great win today, obviously. Pretty much dominated on every facet of the ball. But like if your freshman, your two freshmen, Williams and Cardoso, pretty much couldn't miss today. What did you see from them on both ends of the floor? Well, they just they just play play with confidence, and we knew that we could get Camilla to that midline posting up that she can get some easy baskets. And, and obviously, I'm Priscilla. That's what she is. She's a very explosive scorer, and she got some some great looks on the perimeter. Teammates did a really good job of finding her with one more passes and and really getting the ball moving from side to side. And she got some great looks. And anytime you have a good player, great looks like that, she's gonna knock them down. So I wasn't surprised that either one of their performances because they got really good shots today. And just as a quick follow-up, uh, I noticed that Amaya wasn't in the game. She's in the sweats and see Talia in the game either. Uh, any update on their status? Yeah, they're, they're, they're actually just, just going, through the, going through the protocol right now. They, they both feel great. <laughs> they, um, so, so it's just one of those deals where we got we to gotta go through the protocol to get them back on the floor. But, but, they, but they feel awesome. Thanks, Q. Next, we'll go to Thomas Schultz from the Daily Orange. Hey, Coach. Uh, it seemed like midway through the first half, Miami switched their defense there. Was there something your team was able to exploit or knew coming into this game that you wanted to do on offense? Well, well, well they, had a, they had a couple, couple, couple of schemes on their run, and we, and we kind of had a, had a really good feel for their, for their game package. Just like I know they have a really good feel for our game package. We, we've been playing each other for 15 years now. So, so we both pretty much play the, play the same way. And um, so we, so we kind of knew what they were going to run at, at certain times on the defensive end, but I thought that our kids did a really good job of moving the ball and sticking to the game plan. Thanks Q. Next we'll go to John Johnson from Spectrum News. Hey coach, uh, I guess you, when you have three weeks off, it's kind of hard to go into a game knowing exactly what to expect. So my question to you, what did you kind of expect from your girls when they stepped onto the floor tonight. And I guess there's no way to expect to have 17 threes to tie a dome record in a game, right? First of all, the other night, your suit was slamming on TV. You was Thank you very much. <laughs> the blue one. Love it. My man. Thank you. <laughs> they got really I look like you, Q. You won that one. You want to know? Yeah. <laughs> no, they, they, they just played well, man. We, we really shared the ball. We moved the ball and got and got open looks, and whenever we can get that get that ball moving moving side to side and get the defense moving, we're gonna have a chance to have really good games. So I thought they were just we were just patient. We did a really good job of sharing the ball. 
Thanks, Q. Next, we'll go to Tim Nolan from the Daily Orange. Coach, how fun is it for you when you have so many players that can score in so many different ways? And every, today, it seemed like everyone was clicking. Well, it's, they share the ball. And, and that's when basketball is played to play the right way. And, and it is fun when you, when you play that way. Everyone can move. Everyone can get the open spots and, and play their game. And that's just so, so, so important. We have a lot of talent to be able to move, move the ball and share the ball because we can score from all five positions. So today they just did a really good job of, of sharing the ball and, and, it was, and it was nice basketball. It was really, really fun to coach and good to watch. Thanks, Q. For our last question, we'll go to Mike Curtis from Syracuse.com. Hey, Coach Q. Um, Tierra Fisher came in and gave you some real quality minutes in, in exchange for Tiana Mangakahia. Um, what did you see from her? What did you like from her? And what, what have you liked about her game throughout this entire season? Well, she, she, she did a really good job today of just playing with, playing with confidence. I think that this is the first game she, she came out and just really played, played with confidence and played her game. She's, she's, a, she's a really, really quick point guard that can put the ball on the floor and get to the basket. And she makes open shots and you can't leave her. So, I mean, that's, a, that's, that's, such a, that's such a big plus for us to, to be able to get her on the floor and to get Tiana off the floor a little bit to, to um, get, her, get her some rest and, and also Kiki Lewis some rest. So it, it's just a really, really good game by her. And I hope she continues to play with confidence. If she plays with confidence, she's going to help us a lot. Hugh, congrats on the win. Thanks very much for your time today. We'll see you back Tuesday. All right, thank you. Thank you.